eWoman Network introduces Mary Kay Sheets, founder of Rethink Inc. Personal, powerful business development, discussing her chapter, Out of Great Loss Comes Great Faith, in the inspiring compilation book, Succeeding in Spite of Everything. Why did you choose to participate in this particular book? I chose to be a part of this particular book because I've been asked to be a part of several books. And this one, when I heard the title of it and the subject matter, it just resonated with me. Um, you know, because we all have to succeed in spite of things that go on in our lives. There's moments and events in our lives that end up having a huge impact on our entire life. And how we choose to react to them, uh, it really signifies how we're going to reach success in spite of challenges. How do you think all readers can relate to your story? I think people will all relate to um, the different chapters in this books because we're going to all realize we all have our story. We always are always sharing a story about how we've been impacted, whether we've been wounded in a childhood. I always say we spend most of our adult life trying to get over certain events that happened in our childhood. Even if you've had a terrific childhood, there's moments that we all have that, we, that resonate and know that this has made a huge impact on us um, and has impacted how I react to other challenges in my life. Um, and you know, recognizing that you know, um, we, we all have our challenges. And um, it's important that, that we share them and that we acknowledge each other's challenges and how we got through them and the lessons that were learned because of them. How have your friends and mentors influenced your life's path? You know, when the story really in this book for me is about friendship and the mentors that enter our lives. And we all have them. And to pay attention to um, how you are mentoring to other people and you know you can't get through life without you the relationships the relationships make up your life and so I've um, you know I couldn't have gotten through and gotten anywhere and where I've gotten in my lifetime uh, without those that have come in and supported me and tell me when uh, what I do right give me affirmation when I need it hold me up when I'm falling down um, and tell me what I do well and tell me when I need to change directions and know when, when I'm stumbling a little bit. Um, and so, you know, I, that's why this, this whole book resonated with me, because it is about, you know, moving forward despite everything and knowing that your friends are going to take you there and your mentors. Why do you feel it's important to live your life on purpose and share that purpose with others? You know, I try and live my life on purpose, um, and I've learned that purpose through the mentors and people that have entered my life. Um, and I think it's so important, I mean, I've, you know, once you read my chapter, I think you'll understand one of the biggest lessons I walked away with was knowing that I wish I had had some deeper conversations with somebody that had been my mentor, that I had cared so deeply for, that I'd had some conversations and asked some questions instead of maybe making assumptions or thinking someone else was having those conversations with her. Um, and so that was something that I took as a deep lesson is don't have regrets about the conversations you should have with people that mean something to you. How do you encourage others to live on purpose and be in service first? You know, when I've, I was writing this uh, story in the, in the book, I knew that um, my, I wanted to look at how it impacted my business and how I tried to be in purpose and teach others to live in purpose. And it really ended up being a core value in my company and my company culture because it's learning to walk your talk and say, you know, we have to be in service first. It all comes back around to it. I don't know anybody that has not been successful that wasn't coming across of being in service and living as being in service first. Um, and so that became part of a core value in my company. And so every time I'm going to take on a project and even a client, I look at are they being in service? How are they being in service? Does it resonate with me? Because that way I know that I can be in service to them, you know? And so it's always looking at the bigger picture. And so it's made a huge impact on my business. It's made a huge impact on my life and all my relationships. You talk about Jana's lack of faith or understanding of faith in her life. Can you elaborate? You know, in, in my chapter, the conversation of faith comes in. And faith is, is such a personal thing. And it's a hard thing for a lot of people to talk about because some people feel they lack it. And I know that even in saying that in this story where my dear friend seemed to lack faith, I know for no reason other than I think her exposure to it. Um, and I think if people could walk away saying and looking at their life and staying open to what faith means to them and having that conversation of, of 
what that means to them and, and how important it is to have faith in your life, no matter what you define it to be. Um, it can be spirituality, and sometimes it's, it's deeper. It's a relationship with what you conceive to be God. Um, but it's, it, it's just important that we continue to learn those lessons and have those conversations because it's in faith that it, we get through life, having faith in whatever that is for you. And I want them to, I want my readers to walk away at least having the conversation with themselves and those they care about. What does it mean to them? What do you hope the reader walks away with from this book? You know what, I really would hope that the, the readers take away from my chapter in this book is that they look deeper at the relationships that they have, the meaning of mentors in their life, that looking at failure um, or challenges in their lives as not that, but lessons learned in life. And what lessons am I going to take out of the challenges that have happened in my life? Because uh, failure is just perspective. To me, failure uh, is never an option. It's really just someone trying to give you a lesson to say, take another path, or you've gone off path of what your true purpose is. Look deeper, um, pay attention to uh, your relationships. Um, you know, just keep moving forward and talking with yourself, following your own gut instinct and what's right and wrong for you. So, you know, those are some of the messages that I hope my readers take away from my story. Thank you for joining Mary Kay Sheets. If you'd like to learn more about Mary Kay, her company Rethink Inc., or simply purchase a copy of Succeeding in Spite of Everything, please visit RethinkInkNow.com or contact Mary Kay at mk at rethinkinknow.com.